Hello friends, welcome to JavaScript video tutorials series. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss tracing JavaScript programs. We can trace any JavaScript program in the Google Chrome. Tracing is one of the most important concept to understand. We have to understand it because it helps us to understand how exactly the browser is executing our code. Tracing is sometimes called as manual testing. Tracing is used for debugging our code. Debugging means what? Debugging means finding unexpected errors and removing them. I discuss a lot about debugging in upcoming video tutorials. Okay. Instead of executing the code completely, we can execute the code line by line. That is actually called as tracing. We can pause the execution. We can pause the execution at any time and execute the code line by line and understand how the code is getting executed by the browser. We can examine the variable status, what is happening inside the variables, which help us to debug the code easily, right? So let's get started and understand how we can trace the JavaScript program. First of all, I create one uh, HTML document. I go to start, say here notepad. I click on the notepad. You can see that the notepad got open. I write here basic HTML document structure code less than exclamation mark doc type HTML opening HTML tag lang equal to en. Then I say closing HTML tag. Within that I say opening head tag, closing head tag, opening body tag and closing body tag. Within the head section I write meta char set equal to utf8 close. I save this file at desktop. File save as. Save the file at desktop with the name default.html. Both sides I put double quotations and click on the save button. I minimize the notepad. You can see that the default.html is created. I right click on it. Say open with the Google Chrome. You can see that default.html is open in the Chrome. Title is set to default.html. We can change the title with the help of title tag, right? So what I do here, in between the head section, I say title. Then I say here tracing demo, closing title tag, file save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that the title is set to tracing demo. I go back to notepad in between the body section. I say here script type equal to text or JavaScript. Then I say here closing script tag. Within the script tag, I say document dot write. Say here hello world double quotations comma. I give the break tag semicolon. I copy this line of code paste few times one, two, three, four, four times I paste it. I say file save, go to browser and refresh. When I refresh, what happens? We know that browser executes the code sequentially. It executes the code line by line, top to down sequentially. It displays hello world and moves the cursor to the next line. Displays hello world, moves the cursor to the next line. Displays hello world, moves the cursor to the next line. Displays hello world, moves the cursor to the next line displays hello world moves the cursor to the next line. That means we see hello world displayed five times one below another in the browser. This time I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that browser has displayed hello world five times one below another. Right? As I told, we can pause the execution. You can see the browser has executed the complete code. We can pause the execution on any line. We can examine, we can see how exactly the code is executed by the browser with the help of this options button or customize button. Here we have customize and control Google Chrome button. If I click on that, we get a menu. There we have more tools. And if I click on developer tools, we get the panel. The panel may be opened first the elements tab or maybe we are in the console tab. Maybe the timeline is open. The most important tab that you need to click is sources tab. If you click on the sources tab, you can see that 
default.html source code is available here. On the right hand side, we see some sections. We have watch section, we have call stack section, we have scope section, we have breakpoints section. We understand these sections step by step later. Okay. Now, as I told, when we refresh the page, browser executes the complete code and displays the output on the browser. Now here, I can pause the execution on any line number. To pause the execution on any line, we need to add a breakpoint. To add a breakpoint, we just need to click on the line number. So for example, if I click on line number 9, you can see a blue ribbon got displayed there. That indicates we have added a breakpoint on line number 9. Also in the breakpoint section, you can see that on line number 9, in default.html, we have one breakpoint, right? We can remove the breakpoint. All you need is click again on that blue ribbon to remove that. You can see that in the breakpoints list, we don't have any breakpoints, no breakpoints. To add, click. To remove, click. Add, remove. Add, remove. Add, right? Hope you guys have understood how to add a breakpoint and remove. Now, when I refresh this time, browser is going to pause the execution on line number 9 because there we have a breakpoint. If I refresh, you can see that browser has paused the execution on line number 9. We can execute the code line by line and examine how and what is happening behind the scene. Here we have two buttons which are very useful. The first button is resume script execution and the shortcut key is F8. Resume means continue the execution, execute the further code. That is the meaning of resume script execution. Resume script execution means what? Continue the execution. Then also we have another button here, step over next function call. Step over next function call has the shortcut key F10. The meaning of that is step over the line. That means execute the current line, move to the next line. Pause the execution on next line. That's the meaning of step over next function call. These same two buttons we find here also. We have resume script execution and step over next function call. We have some other buttons. I discuss about them later step by step. Now we have here paused in debugger. That means we are in the debugging mode. The program is in the debugging mode. And it is showing here paused on breakpoint. The browser is telling you that we have paused the execution on breakpoint. As I told, we can step over by clicking on the step over button. If I click on step over, you can see that the browser has executed this line, line number 9. And we see once hello world displayed. And now it is paused the execution on line number 10. Right? We can execute the code now step over. I click on step over. I click on step over. I click on step over. You can see that browser is executing the code line by line. Right? We can see how exactly the code is getting executed. I can step over again. I can step over again. You can see that we got the hello world displayed five times on the screen. Right? It is not that we can add only one breakpoint. We can add many breakpoints in the code. For example, I want to add a breakpoint on line number 12. I click on line number 12 to add one more breakpoint. You can see that in the breakpoint section on line number 12, we have a breakpoint in default.html is showing two breakpoints we have on line number 9, on line number 12, right? When I refresh, of course, the browser is going to pause the execution on line number 9. If I say refresh, it has paused the execution on line number 9. We can step over, we can execute the code line by line. If I say step over, browser has displayed hello world once and it is paused the execution on line number 10. If we want, we can continue the execution. That means instead of executing line by line, we can execute many lines and pause on next breakpoint. To pause on next breakpoint, if I click on this uh, resume script execution, you can see that browser has paused the execution on next breakpoint. It has executed both the lines. It has displayed hello world two times again, right? This time we executed many lines and pause the execution on next breakpoint by clicking on resume script execution button, right? Again, we can step over by clicking on the step over button. It has executed that line and pause the execution on next line. I click on step over. 
Hope you guys are understanding. If I continue the execution, browser executes all the code. If we want to remove the breakpoints, we can remove the breakpoints. Hope you guys have clearly understood how do we pause the execution and step over, how we can continue, what happens if we have more than one breakpoint. I remove this breakpoint and I go back to the notepad. I'm going to write one more code here. I'm going to select this code, say delete. Then I say here var a semicolon var b semicolon var c semicolon then I say a equals to 10 semicolon b equal to 10 semicolon c equals to a plus b semicolon then I say here document dot write in double quotations I display the value of c comma c bracket close semicolon okay what happens when I say file save go to browser and refresh of course the code is going to be executed completely we see the output on the screen 20 because browser executes the code line by line top to down right it creates a variable a creates a variable b creates a variable c each of them are going to have undefined inside them or we can assign a value directly if we want let me put 0 there and here also i say were a equal to 0 b equal to 0 c equal to 0 when i say file save go to browser and refresh browser executes the code line by line sequentially top to down it creates a variable a assigns a value 0 to it it creates a variable b assigns a value 0 to it it creates a variable c assigns a value 0 to it then it executes this line it puts the 10 or assigns the 10 to a then it executes the next line it puts the 10 in b then it executes this line it adds a and b values that is 10 plus 10 is 20 put that in the c and then it executes this line displays c equal to 20 on the screen let's see that file save go to browser and refresh we got the output c equal to 20 and we can see the source code here instead of executing the complete code as i told we can examine how exactly the browser is executing the code by putting the breakpoints by taking the help of breakpoints i put the breakpoint on line number 9 and i say refresh you can see that browser has paused the execution on line number 9 we can observe what is the value inside a variable by moving the mouse cursor on that variable if i move the mouse cursor on a it is showing that a is having the value undefined okay what is the value in b b has undefined what is the value in c c is undefined why because still we have not executed these lines of code browser has passed the execution on line number 9 right i can step over if i say step over now the 0 will be assigned to a you can see that the value of a is 0 right again i step over now the value of b is what 0 i can step over now the value of c is what 0 right all you need is mouse over on the variable to see the current state of that variable that's it now when i step over you can see that the value of a is 10 if i move the mouse cursor here also we see same thing the value of a is 10 the current value of a is 10 now i step over what is the value of b that is 10 now value of a is 10 value of b is 10 10 plus 10 is 20 20 will be assigned to c but c is, c is still 0 if i step over now the value of c is 20 and then if i say step over we get the output c equal to 20 on the screen then we can continue the execution right it is not necessary that we need to always move the mouse cursor on any variable to see its state we can always watch the variables while execution by adding them in the watch list here if i click on this triangle we have a ability to add watches no watch expressions there to add a watch we click on the plus sign and then we can type the variable name there which variable we want to watch i want to watch the variable a hit enter it is telling that the value of a is 10 right you can see that similarly i can add one more watch I can say b hit enter value of b is what 10 i can add one more c hit enter what is the value of c that is 20 right now let me again 
pass the execution on line number i just say refresh this time you can see that variable a b and c are available in the watch section and all are undefined all are undefined right if i move the mouse cursor on a it is undefined mouse cursor on b it is undefined mouse cursor on c it is undefined right okay let me step over you can see that the value of a is now zero i step over the value of b is zero i step over the value of c is zero right if i say step over the value of a is 10 if i say step over the value of b is 10 if i say step over the value of c is 20 if i say continue the execution we see the output c equal to 20 and here we have the watches the watch section is showing the current status of the variables right hope you guys have understood how to add a variable in the watch section we can watch a variable while executing the program hope you guys have clearly understood how do we add a breakpoint how do we remove a breakpoint how do we pause the execution how do we step over and execute the code line by line and understand how exactly the browser is executing the code what is happening in the variables right we can remove these variables from the watch section if we do not want to watch any variable then we just need to click on this uh, delete watch expression symbol if i click on that now the c is removed i can click on the minus sign i can click on the minus sign now there is no watch expression there are no breakpoints right hope you guys have clearly understood how do we trace the javascript program i suggest you people to watch this video again and again understand how the tracing works i suggest you people to take some other javascript code and trace and understand how the code is executed by the browser no worries i am going to use this tracing technique to explain upcoming javascript codes so you will be comfortable with the tracing debugging concepts for this video tutorial this much is enough friends for more benefits and be up to date please subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to like comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial